everybody, I'm Miranda and I recently returned from my first ever backpacking trip. Today I want to share with you the best things I purchased for that trip. Starting with my backpack here. This is the Tortuga Set Out Travel Backpack in 45 liters, which is maximum carry-on capacity. And I actually found it to definitely be able to fit all of my stuff. I think for a carry-on backpack, it has so much room. So I'm so glad I purchased it. It also opens like a suitcase. So you're not having to rummage through all of your stuff to find it all the time. It makes it so convenient. And there's also so many different pockets. We have the first pockets, and then we have two other pockets. And it also has organization on the inside, like places to keep pens, so many extra little pockets inside. I just really love the organization and the fact that I could fit all my stuff. It's also very comfortable. I just, I couldn't be happier with this backpack. The second best thing I purchased for this trip were these packing cubes. I have two of them, one that is a bit larger and one that is a little bit smaller. I didn't have the money to buy the nice packing cubes from somewhere such as Eagle Creek. So instead I ordered these off of Amazon. They're from the company Tripped and they worked really well. Nothing ended up broken, the zippers worked fine and I really stuffed them full of clothes and they never broke. So I'm happy with them. The next best purchase were these tissues because toilet paper is a luxury in some parts of the world and especially if you're taking lots of buses a lot of those rest stop bathrooms have no toilet paper in them so i always like to carry these in my backpack at all times and they're a lifesaver definitely buy yourself some tissues next on my list is this rain fly it comes in this nice package and you pull it out and it just goes over your backpack and it could come in handy a lot. I know it did for me because there are times that I got caught in downpours having to walk with my backpack on. So it protected my laptop and everything that's inside my backpack from getting soaked as well. The Rainfly was also purchased from Amazon. Another purchase I really liked was my purchase from Lush. I had bought dry shampoo and conditioner. I just really don't like traveling with liquids at all. So I really appreciated these shampoo and conditioner bars that didn't pose a risk of leaking into my bag and was very easy to get through TSA. I could actually make a whole another video on non-liquid toiletries. So if you'd like to see that, let me know. I also purchased these mini backpack locks. This one is smaller than this one and this one I got from Walmart and I actually liked it more. This one is Samson night but I just liked the size of this one a lot better. I don't think I will ever travel without backpack locks. It made me feel so much better knowing that my backpack was locked every time I put it under a bus or even just when I was walking around with my backpack because I kept my actual debit card, my backup debit card in my backpack and this lock was always on it and that pocket very rarely opened and it just made me feel so secure that way. Now we have my money belt. This one is from Eagle Creek. I know that money belts kind of have a negative reputation. People like to call them really touristy but I think they are a great way to keep your valuables safe. This one wrapped around my waist and every time I was in transit, I wore it. So not every single day, not when I was just walking around the city, but if I was in transit going from one place to the next, I liked having it on me. I thought it was the safest place to keep my debit card because every time I arrived in a new place or new country, I'd have to go to the ATM immediately and pull out money. And I also kept my passport in here and other valuables and it just felt so safe to have it on me. Another really great Amazon purchase was my laundry kit. So what is inside is some dry laundry sheets. So it comes in this package and what you do is you just take out the sheet and you put it in the sink because I do a lot of my laundry in the sink so I don't have to pay to have them done. Yeah, so I just put it in and this turns into the soap. So it's something else that's not in liquid and easy to pack. And it also came with like a sink stopper, which actually wasn't that useful because usually I could just push it down. This one did turn out to be useful though. I didn't always have to use it, but I used it several times actually. It is to hang my clothes after I wash them in the sink. Next is my microfiber towel. I really like how small it is. Now it's not a big size for a bath towel, but I found that I actually was okay with it. When I first saw how small it was, I was like, no, that is not going to work at all. But 
it was fine for me actually. And I like how small it is, so there's lots of room in my backpack. If you'd like to get a bigger one, that's fine, but I would definitely recommend a microfiber towel because they dry a lot faster. I also got a mini detangler brush. This was really useful because the brush was so small. It was just so small and compact, which is perfect for when you don't have a lot of room in your backpack. So I also got these mosquito repellent wipes. I like these because it says that they're plant-based and you could like rub them on your body because I really don't like having to bring liquids. Like I said, I can make an entire video about non-liquid things like toiletries. Now my last two products I didn't actually buy. I have Clinique's Take the Day Off. This is what I used as my makeup remover. It comes in such a tiny little bottle and it's just so nice to put in a toiletry bag. So it's really convenient as opposed to the liquid waterproof makeup remover or even makeup wipes. It's just small and really convenient. Next is this mascara. It is by Thrive. This is just the sample size, which is why it doesn't count as a purchase, plus my sister gave it to me. So what's special about this mascara is that it's super easy to take off. All I had to do was, when I wanted to take it off, it was put this on my fingers and I would just go like that and it just comes right off. So it is great for when you need to travel with makeup. Not that I wore it very often, but it was nice to have for days I did want it. And there you have it. Those are the best things that I bought for my backpacking trip. I hope you found it helpful. Bye.